morning kids and welcome to today's Kids Corner message. The story I want to share with you today comes out of the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, and it's about a man named Abram. And Abram lived many years after the time of Noah. And Abram was a good man and he had lots of sheep and cattle. He was married. His wife's name was Sarai and he lived in this land called Haran. But one thing that Abram didn't have was children, and that was something both he and Sarai really wanted. Now, one day, God came to Abram, and he said, Abram, I want you to pack up all your things, and I want you to leave your home, and I want you to go to the land that I'm going to give you. I promise that I will bless you and make your family great, and I'm going to be with you in all you do, and because of you, all the families on the earth will be blessed. Well, wow. I mean, can you imagine God appearing to you and telling you, um, pick up your things and, and move and I'm going to bless you and your, all the families of the earth are going to be blessed because of you? That's quite a promise. But at the same time, it had to be a little bit scary because it meant that Abram would have to leave the place that he knew, the place that he was familiar with, and go to a place that he didn't know. And he was going to have to trust God that everything would be okay. But Abram did just that. He took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot and they packed up everything they owned in the land of Haran and they moved to the land of Canaan. Now, you may not know this, but it tells us that Abram was 75 years old when this took place. And so that couldn't have been a very easy move. Not to mention that Canaan is a very long way away from Haran. But once they got there and they were getting settled, few years later, on a warm, starry night, Abram was resting in his tent after a hard day's work, and it was a night like any other night until God appeared again. This must have been a little bit of a surprise and also a little bit scary, but God said to Abram, do not be afraid. I am your defender, and I promise that I will give you a great reward. But Abram said, what kind of reward? I don't even have any children. And then God took Abram out beneath the starry sky. And he said, look up at the stars in the sky. You will have a son and he will have children and his children will have children and they will have more children. And one day they will be as many as the stars in the sky. Can you imagine all those stars? Abram was confused, as you might imagine, because he said, how can this be? I am old. But God had made a promise to Abram. God promised Abram that he would have children, and from him a great nation would come. God promised that they would live in the land that God had given them, and God promised that because of Abram, all people on earth would be blessed. And if there's one thing that we know about God, we know that God always keeps his promises. So Abram believed God's promise, and Abram's faith pleased God, and it was Abram's faith in God and his promise that made things right between Abram and God. And that is an important thing to remember. Before God even started to make the world, he had a plan. His plan is for us to know how good he is and how much he loves us and that one day we will come to live with him forever in heaven. And this story of Abram is just the beginning of that plan. And today, in 2020, you and I, we're part of that plan continuing. Isn't that awesome? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for having a plan and knowing what you want is for us to be able to be with you. We thank you for keeping your promises to Abram, for blessing him and his family, and we ask your blessing upon our families today. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.